What's up guys? So today we're going to take a look at whether it makes more sense to build a gaming PC or buy a pre-built at this point in 2023 and as we move in to 2024. And in order to do this, we're going to take a look at a few different price ranges. So we're going to take a look at a $1,000 build, a $1,500 build, and a $2,000 build and see, does it make more sense to buy that as a pre-built or build it with off-the-shelf components? And the main way we're going to do it is taking a look at the pre-built configuration, specking that out with off-the-shelf hardware, and seeing how much it costs. And with the price discrepancies, if there are any, what could you actually build for the full either $1,000, $1,500, or $2,000 price range? So let's jump into it, starting with that $1,000 build. So for this $1,000 pre-built, we have the SkyTech Gaming Nebula. Now it does come in under that $1,000 price point at $849.99, but it is still probably the best PC you can buy at that $1,000 price point. You're gonna get the same hardware if you spend a little bit more at that you know, $1,000 number. So with this build, we're getting a Intel i5-13400F, a very good six core 12 thread CPU uh, with the additional efficiency cores that you now get with the latest gen or last gen Intel. And from a GPU perspective, we're getting an RTX 4060. For the rest of the hardware, we're looking at 16 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte NVMe SSD, and we're also looking at a 600 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply. All that in a pretty nice case with a decent air cooler. So now that we know the hardware in our pre-built, let's spec it out on PC Part Picker. So in terms of the, all the hardware, the same exact hardware, and we pretty much spec out what you'd expect out of a pre-built PC with not the best RAM, not the best storage, not the craziest uh, power supply, uh, and definitely not the craziest motherboard. You're probably not going to do any overclocking on this thing, especially considering you have a 13400F, which isn't overclockable anyways. But overall, we kind of skimped on some of these components, but they still should be plenty good for your build. And it turns out we come in at $836, and that's without a Windows install. So I'm going to toss on another 20 to 30 just because uh, that's probably what you're going to pay on a, a website like G2A or, or one of those sites to purchase a Windows key. Otherwise, you're going to spend a full 110 or 130 to get your hands on a full copy of Windows. But overall, these things come out to a very similar price point. So you might want to consider buying a pre-built if you're spending under $1,000 because maybe it's just not worth putting the time and effort in to build your own PC. So now for our $1,500 price point. And this time we're taking a look at a PC on Newegg. And this thing comes in at right at that $1,500 price point, $1,499.99. And it is spec pretty darn well. This is pretty much the best specs I could find for any $1,500 PC. And we get a Ryzen 7 5700X, so it is a last-gen Ryzen, but still very, very competitive. We also then get an RTX 4070 for our graphics card, a beast of a GPU, still pretty costly on the second or, or the first-hand market, buying it brand new. So we'll see what it compares to when we do our custom build. Uh, but then it's pretty much the same hardware as last time, 16 gigs of DDR4, a one terabyte NVMe, uh, a, a Hyper 212 cooler, a Cooler Master case, a 650 watt power supply. Overall, very similar to our $1,000 specs outside of the CPU and GPU. And if we were to compare to a custom build uh, using the exact same components, and actually not the exact same components, we spec up from a 5700X to a 7700X, it just made more sense. Uh, 7700X, not, you know, not a uh, overclockable motherboard, anything like that. The same uh, SSD and storage we went with last time, the same power supply we went with last time, different case, but uh, overall with the 4070 and the 7700X, we're looking at pretty much $1,300. So if you wanted to build that same exact PC, you could end up saving $200 if you went ahead and built it yourself. Now it makes a little bit more sense to go out and build a PC compared to buying a pre-built. But what does it look like when we go to that $2,000 price point? Does the trend continue? Do we see more uh, uh, savings building your own PC compared to buying? Now let's, let's find out. 
So for our $2,000 build, we have another SkyTech PC on Amazon. Again, for 2,000 bucks, you're pretty much looking at pretty much the exact same specs. Uh, an eight core CPU with a 4070 Ti. For this particular build, it's an i7-12700F. So two generations old now Intel, along with an RTX 4070 Ti. We still get 16 gigs of DDR4, a one terabyte SSD, probably a 750 watt power supply due to the power requirements of that 4070 Ti and a pretty nice case. So we're gonna spec up our components for our custom build a little bit to match the aesthetic and the other you know, performance aspects of this build. So for our custom build, we ended up going with an i7-12700KF, so the overclockable version of the CPU, and we even went with a Z690 motherboard, so we could overclock if we did want to. In terms of storage and RAM, we went with the same as our last builds as well. We go with the RTX 4070 Ti, which definitely bumps up the price point quite a bit, around $800 for a GPU case. We went with the new NZXT H6 case, a very cool looking uh, Lee Enli O11 Dynamic-esque style case, but super, super good looking case for this build. And then a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Uh, that's pretty much it for this build. And it comes in at right around $1,500. So now we're saving nearly 500 bucks in terms of pre-built versus building your own PC. And this also shows you what you could build for that $1,500 price point. So you could step up all the way to an RTX 4070 Ti instead of getting an RTX 4070 for that $1,500 price point pre-built versus custom built. So in the end of the day, if you're going to, if you're looking for a new gaming PC and you're deciding whether I want to build one or I want to buy one, of course, depending on the price point, the cheaper the build is going to be, the better off or the more it makes sense to buy a pre-built PC at that point. You get the additional warranty, the additional customer support that you get with a pre-built, um, but you are, of course, limited in the aesthetic and the look of the gaming PC you're buying. You can only buy what they're selling. If you want something custom in a specific case with specific components, then, of course, you're going to have to go out and build it yourself. And then in terms of the price point, it's all going to come down to which components you buy uh, and how long it's going to take you to put it together. Does it make sense to build it versus just buy it? But the more money you're going to spend, the higher your price range, the more it makes sense to build your own PC. You can either one, spec it up to meet whatever you want, uh, whatever the price point is, or you could even spend a little bit less and get the same amount of performance that you would get out of a pre-built. So at the end of the day, it's pretty much up to your price point, whether it makes more sense to build or buy a PC. You probably thought that at the beginning of the video, but if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.